I forget. Does it say where I gotta go for that? Uh, this, let's see. The Blight. No, where's more? Oh my goodness. Uh, Unlikely Scholar. That. So. Mother's Heart. Fine. Build this one. Rook. Uh, Chance of Light. However, he needs permission. Okay. Maybe I should go do that just in case I forget. Oh. So sir, we gotta go to the Circle of Magi anyways. I forget if I'm to finish the shape, the Chantry thing, if I have to do something out on the surface. So let's quickly go and see if the shape it will allow for that. And then we'll go to the Circle and we'll do a visit. We'll also go to camp, sleep there, um, and then... I knew I should have stuck to common nugs. I've gone and lost them too. I'll never find them the way they skitter. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. <sighs> Guess I'm shutting it down. No! No, no, no! If I see any nugs, I can send them your way. Good on you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. Okay. Um, we're not gonna do the lost nug quest until we get Leliana, because I forget how to get Leliana a nug. Wait, or do you... Is it... How, hold on. How many nugs do I need to find? Okay. So we only need to find one. Uh, I feel like it wasn't actually as bad. Actually, it could be terrible. They're running around. They're stinky and door. Oh, Balin good. Is, uh, Again. Bad, bad man. Again. Yeah, does it have, does, do we have to? Do we absolutely positively? The oh, hour. hi. Support Lord Haramont okay. at your own uh, peril. What are you? Not Dark the shape right. will overrun Like, the, the town criers are highly unnecessary. We get it. There's news. That's the Chamber of Assembly. I need the shape print, which I think is down here. Why is the shape print so far away? How far do the... I mean, I guess it might be like the least used, but also most used. It shall building. be done. Like, how used is the shape print for the dwarves? I do not know. Okay. Hi, I'm back. I have a request. Ah, you return, Warden. Yes. Is there more you would know from Orzammar's memories? Yes, but no. I would like your... Permission to open up a chantry here. I think that Andraste would greatly approve. That is an odd request. I know. Especially for one so new to our city. Y yeah, I come on behalf of Brother Burkle, though. He was a cleric of Redcliffe. I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Burkle hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn 2,000 years of tradition? Um... The Chantry... Hmm, actually... The, yeah, the Chantry's charities could greatly aid Orzammar. Have you ever thought of that? What sort of charities do you mean? Oh, all kinds, all kinds. The Chantry could provide work for the castless. I am not certain this is in Orzammar's best interests. Our castes have served us well, but it's possible this service could benefit our people. Very well. He may hold a prayer meeting as he requested, if not build a new temple to his god. Thank you. At least the words would come from one of our own. Now, is there anything more? No, 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 no. I bugged you I enough. I record this conversation in the memories. I hope I do not come to regret it. Oh! you probably will i'm like 90 percent sure you're gonna regret it but you know it's fine Thief! oh Who gosh dare take from the memories oh goodness you were very loud warden i'm outraged a thief in the shape what have we been reduced to a thief oh no did you get a good look at him i did he was bald with the most garish brand across his head almost like he took pride in being castless Imagine. The horror. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Oh, well, I guess I should go look for that for you immediately, if not sooner. Are you okay? Oh, um, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that no. I could really help. I um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. Uh, what kind of research, if you don't mind me asking? I was looking for something about the Orton Taig. It was lost during the Last Blight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Orton. Really? composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. 
My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Ortan, who was training in Orzammar when the Taig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the Deep Roads. Huh. Well, I'm a Grey Warden. I'm personally not afraid of the Deep Roads. Actually, I'm terrified of them. But, you know, I have to pretend I'm not. So I could go look. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Taig, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Taig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could, maybe now that you're looking, it's almost too much to hope. Okay. Don't, don't worry. I'll do my best. Apparently we are 100% taking a trip to the Deep Roads. Who would have guessed? Wardens and the Deep Roads. Uh, good. Oh no. Why are we here? Okay, hold on. So, thief, we gotta go garish tattoos. Okay, brand for the slums. I love that they use the word garish in the quest log. Garish tattoos. <laughs> I love the quest log in DAO. Like, when it tells you, like, what these different quests are and stuff like that, it is literally my utmost favorite. Just talking. News like, of oh, the hour. Yeah. Lord Haramont's insinuations against Orsay. You know, Orzammar is a long, long portion of the game. Lord and, uh, is yeah, a yeah, I, I know bad, most people bad, leave bad. it till the end to yes. be safe. I'm because like it's higher level, like overall from what I remember. As huh. you say. But I also forgot how much of a horror story it is because of the jump scare. So there's there's that. That is a hundred percent something that we are dealing with. Uh, the jump scares. Yes. I think that there are nugs somewhere along here. We'll find them though. We gotta go get them. There you are. Okay, hold on. I'm not touching you until I get Leliana. Will you see that nug though? Just sitting there like a boss. If you've seen my, I don't, by the time this episode, ah, oh, there's more. By the time this episode airs, um, my DA2 Let's Play should have already had the nug show up at Hawk's house. Um, and, and the nug has at Hawk's house uh, for one of the mods I'm using has the exact same like cool person said as that and i just love that for the nugs hi can i talk to you andraste teaches that patience is the child of wisdom but i'm eager to hear if you've seen the shaper i have he agreed to let you hold a prayer meeting oh praise the maker you truly walk in the light friend i wouldn't say I that i already found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry it's just by the tapsters please come to our first service do i have to can this just mark the quest is completed yes okay good we did it so proud of us. Do do. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're looking for somebody with a garish tattoo. Shady. You're shady and you, is that garish? What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. Whoa. I'm looking for a thief who dared to steal from the Shaperit. Is that so? Uh, it is so. What makes you think anyone here would turn me... I mean, this person in. You already did. You already you turned into yourself a in. You fight, Warden. And I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Oh, yeah. Where did you pass the I tome to? It. Very oh, well. Who has it? Oh, <laughs> oh, you're dead now. So there's not much I can do about that. <sighs> All right. Who else? Do you have the tome I'm looking for? Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine-dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. Y yeah. Um, here's five silvers? You're as kind as you are beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. I owe you when I get back on my feet, if my feet still worked. It takes a stranger to notice how bad things are, huh? No dwarf would lift a sodding finger. Excuse my language. No, no, no. What takes you out of the Diamond Quarter, stranger? You got a vice you're looking for old Nadezda to fill? Uh, uh no. N no, I was leaving. I'll just stay out of your way then. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, idle dwarf. Assembly directive. Wait, he did he? Oh, he did actually have loot. Proving receipt. I think that that's... Wait, what is that? Uh, the thief didn't have the stolen tome. Proving ground. Proving grounds. Great. The proving grounds. We gotta go there anyways. I still haven't picked. I still don't know who the best option is for, King, like, who I should put my lot in with. And I forgot to look and see what Emery picked. So. 
Not Emery. This is Emery, what Riley picked. Um, so now we're kind of playing... Oh my goodness, the nugs are cute. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna play the avoidance game and do everything else that we possibly can before we pick who we want to go with which actually i think i've done before i forget can we go into the deep roads uh without siding with somebody i want to see actually i will 100 given any thought to your future shale i was thinking i, I might oh, join the chantry what come divine and have giant andraste golems fashioned to conquer the lands truly no. <laughs> it was a serious question. One day the quest of these Grey Wardens will be finished one way or another. What will you do then? The quest of the Grey Wardens is to destroy the Darkspawn, I thought. Oh, so you share a larger purpose with them? Is that your ultimate goal? I had not given it much thought. It might be better than slaughtering every bird in existence. Well, yes, at the very least. It's worth thinking about. Yeah, I feel like we probably shouldn't slaughter every bird in existence, Shale, but you do you. I trust you. Like, you make the life choices that you want to make. Let's go to camp first. Then we'll use camp as a fast travel point to get where we need to go. Great. Anybody want to hawk? Anybody? How you doing, Watson? Watson wags his tail and looks at Sten. Yes, it is good to have my sword at my side again. I call her Asala, the soul, my soul. Oh. She is forged from rare blue steel and has served me faithfully for many years. Yes, you understand what it is like to have a weapon that is part of you. Few others do. Stop it. Stop it. Did they just actually have the world's greatest conversation? Stop. That was fantastic. Zevrin! What say you? Um, can I ask you questions? By all means. So, I'm not gonna lie. I forget what we did and didn't talk to Zev about in the past. So, we're gonna kind of ask some more I apologize in advance if at any point for any of the companions, I am repeating conversations that M um, asked them way back when. But what's your opinion of the Dalish? I know little enough of the Dalish other than the fact that my mother was one, or so I was told. She had fallen in love with an elven woodcutter and accompanied him back to the city, leaving her clan behind for good. And there, of course, the woodcutter died of some filthy disease and my mother was forced into prostitution to pay off his debts. All is tale in the book. Uh, was the... So, Zevran, that's horrible. Is it? It seemed normal enough a tale growing up. No different than the other elven boys in the whorehouse. I didn't know my mother either, of course. She died giving birth to me. My first victim, as it were. We were all raised communally by the whores. It was a happy enough existence, ignoring the occasional beating. Until eventually I was sold to the crows. I brought a good price, so I hear. I'm so... so what does that have to do with the Dalish? You're oddly cheerful about it. It could have been much worse. Shall I tell you about what happened to the other whorehouse boys who did not fetch a decent price with the crows? Surely your life has not been so idyllic. People like you and I are not the product of happy lives of contentment, after all. No, we're not. No, you can say that again. <sighs> my original point is that my mother's Dalish nature was always a point of fascination for me. Through all the years of my crow training, the one thing of my mother's that I possessed was a pair of gloves. They were of Dalish make, I knew that much, and beautiful. I had to keep them hidden, of course as we were not allowed such things. Eventually, they were discovered, and I never saw them again. I feel like, didn't we give, didn't we, like, find the gloves and give them back to him? Um, has there been no joy in your life at all? <laughs> oh, there has been plenty. To tell the truth, it is because I expected nothing more. Still, even I eventually thought that it would be better for me if I ran off to join the famous Dalish when one of their clans drew near Antiva City. Naturally, the reality did not live up at all to the fantasies I had constructed as a boy, staring at those gloves. But such is life. Come, enough talk of the Dalish. Let us move on. Okay. So now we've learned more about that. I feel like we found the gloves. Or was it boots that we found for Zev? I gotta double check uh, where the Dalish gloves would be located. And then see where they be. So I think we've exhausted Wynn and... Liliana conversation. My lord. 
They're just chilling. Who is that? Lieutenant. Lieutenant? On your order, Grey Warden. Ah. Uh, do you need anything? Uh, the R was generous, but rushed. Certain areas could see improvement. We're a mercenary force, Warden. Much of our equipment is self-financed. Were you to commit additional funds, we'd upgrade as we saw the need. Okay. Oh, right. So you can turn in crafting materials for the Dalish. I uh, give deep mushrooms. Okay, now let's do coin. Give 10 sovereign. I don't know how many sovereigns we have, but we'll give 10. And then runes. Unassigned expert runes. Sure. Perfect. Now I feel like we've helped. You will have the best equipped army Ferelden has ever seen. I better for whatever the heck it was I just paid. Sten? I have been mistaken. Ah, uh, what do you mean? You are a soldier worthy to stand among the Beresad. I am? I did not think so when we first met. Oh. Wow. What changed your mind? You did, of course. Of course. The day will come when the Arishok sends us here. On that day, I will not look to find you on the battlefield. Thank you. Um, I, I, I think you think the Canari will invade Ferelden? In time. There is no point in dwelling on it. We should move on. Oh, okay. But you're the one that kind of sort of brought it up, Sten. You can't just say like, we should move on when you're the one that brought this thought up. Can I talk to you about something? Speak then. That's enough. Then I suggest we move on. Okay. Well, y'all, Sten will not look for us on the battlefield anymore. I gotta go. As you wish. All right, so let's see if Morrigan has anything for me. Morrigan, you want to talk? Do you realize that you've been smiling for hours now? I have, really? Since the last time you and that fool Alistair shot glances at each other, in fact. Oh. He must be pleasant enough in bed, for surely I Morgan. cannot imagine anyone enduring his conversation. Morrigan, uh, you can't say things like that. I uh, we get along well enough in that department, though, but I I mean he's an idiot. For sure, but he's my idiot. Lucky for him that someone is willing to claim him then. <laughs> it is a bit sickening to watch you two, but I imagine it at least takes your mind from our situation. Have it your way. Thank you very much. Alistair, I just called you an idiot, but I said that you were my idiot, if that makes you feel better. Shale? It speaks. Did, yeah, I didn't know if you had anything special. No? Okay. Alistair, do you want to talk? My love? Uh, nope. Okay, so let me see if... I want to double check now. Something I can help with? No. No, I'm good. Wynn, how are you? What's on your mind? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Why did the spirit choose to help you? Did I ask that? I feel like I did, but let's double check. I have always had an affinity for the spirits of the Fade. As a child, I never feared my dreams because I knew they were there. Wait, really? Sincerely? I've never experienced that before. I've always been able to feel the spirits, even if I never saw them. And as I nurtured my talent in the circle, I became more sensitive. I began to notice every time I was in the Fade, whether it was in a dream or in magical practice, that I was being watched. Watched? Like, do spirits actually watch people? I suppose they must. It is these benevolent spirits that create our dream worlds in the Fade. Sometimes I would see it, a glowing, nebulous form. Most times I would just feel its presence, gentle and comforting but somehow alien. I think it is a spirit of faith. They have never been seen before, and perhaps I am wrong. But something tells me I'm not. It always felt like the same entity. This one spirit was curious about me, and was guarding me, for want of a better word. It's interesting that she actually says a spirit of faith here, given um, in DAI, what you find out about the um, 
right of tranquility and how the seekers become seekers and stuff like so that whole conversation slash quest line with cassandra this then makes this even more interesting that it was a spirit of faith that touched her or that saved her and the question is now could win actually become tranquil that's a that's a that's a really interesting question like given who the spirit is now that's you know the plus one if you are ah uh, you are very lucky you mean it protected you there were times when i was in the fade that it seemed to stretch forth to shield me keeping me safe and i think it gave me strength in my most terrible battles ostagar being one of them hmm so the spirit of faith is like your personal protector i don't know why i was chosen Perhaps it knew that there was something more that lay in store for me. I like to think that I was given a rare chance. And I'm going to make the best of the time so generously given to me. Uh... I'm glad that you think traveling with me and with all of us is worthy of your time. I will not lie motionless in a bed with coverlets up to my chin, waiting for death to claim me. That is not the death for me. And so I will fight alongside the Grey Warden and help prepare her for the task that is yet before her. So you had better listen to me, because I swear, if I should fall before the end and you don't seem to be doing things properly, I'll get up again to give you a good finger-wagging. <laughs> this is why I love Wynne so, so, so much. Because, like, she will never, ever just give up. She will never just give in, at least at this point in time. This That's not when, that's not in her DNA. She's going to fight through it. She's going to fight to do what's right. But I'm going to hold you to that promise, Win. You know, I think you'll be all right, even without my help. I don't know about that, Win. Without your help, I would have to adult. And when I can't adult, have you met me? I can't, you can't ask me to adult. <laughs> no, please don't ask that of me. All right, let's... So I think we did check in with everybody. Let's go. Um, And let's take Liliana. Indeed. Let's take this. Yes. And this. Yes. And smuggle some lyrium and ask help a full Dagna. This? Circle Tower. Oh, it's not that far, actually. Wow. It's actually... Oh, no. Are you going to really up and around... Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Uh, I need to talk to you first, Enchanter Irving. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. Yes. Dagna of Orzammar wishes to study magic. Orzammar? Indeed. <laughs> you have piqued my curiosity. It is common knowledge that dwarves lack the aptitude for spellcraft she will never be able to weave the simplest magic no matter how hard she tries yeah i don't think she minds she just wants to learn she she wants to stay like the theory of magic fascinating <laughs> i suppose the circle should be flattered yeah she's willing to give up her caste and clan for all of this i see if she is willing to sacrifice so much for this then we should feel honored. Tell Dagna of Orzimar that this path will not be easy. But if she chooses it, then she is welcome here at the Circle. Thank you. She will live and study with the Tranquil, and perhaps the apprentices, when it is appropriate. Ah, uh, thank you, First Enchanter. Ah, if only the Circle was in better shape. I fear she may be disappointed when she arrives. Not Dagna. Not Dagna. Uh, I think she'll be very interested in everything. This will be interesting. <laughs> she could tell us much about our dwarven neighbors. I think she'd be delighted yes. to. The more I think about it, the more I like the idea. I shall take this as an indication that perhaps things are starting to look up for the circle. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I gotta go. I wish you well. No, you will always be welcome here. Thank you. Now we are looking for... Right. 
Is it not? Is this not here? Okay. Wait, what is that say? Sealed doors. Okay. Isn't it like here? Hmm. Let's go in for a second and see. Oh, goodness. Like, people are still. So, because I didn't want to, like, loot, because, like, obviously it was uh, more immersive back then, I didn't. Very well. I didn't loot certain things. <laughs> but apparently the loot is still here. So I'm going for it. I'm going for all this stuff now that I didn't get before. So is this guy not here? Is he at the other? I'm um, lost to the me lo precious metals. Uh, okay, it's Goodwin, a mage. Okay. Eh? No. I don't know if I have the strength for another big battle. Oh, you'll be fine. I'm looking for Goodwin. Anybody seen a person named Goodwin? Mage about yay tall. I actually have no idea how tall this Goodwin is. Uh, kids are safe. Uh, do, 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 do. Goodwin. Yoohoo! Hmm. Come on, you've rested enough. Oh. Uh, get these out of the tower before they get fragrant. Oh, they, they just use the word fragrant. There's like a specialty order to touch some of that stuff. And like, I think it like summons a demon or something like that. That gives you something. Um, I am not going to do that. So I'm not even like, oh, <gasps> Cullen. I wish I could have gone with them to fight. I know. Don't worry, though. I know of an inquisitor who's very excited to meet you down the road. She's cranky. And she's also a mage. But I promise you, nobody will love you more than Riley does. And then possibly somebody else who shall remain nameless at this point. But still, very cranky girl. We love Riley. Wait, Bill's cash? Did I not loot that? 